person sees all. Well, we're going to see the sun better than this. This is the sun this morning. That's right. Already blurry. And it's not the sky that's blurry. It's the sun. It's storming right now. Um, it started off with a minor geomagnetic storm. S1, now it's, uh, sorry, G1, now it's up to G2. And uh, just had a corona mass ejection flare a couple of days ago. The radiation should be reaching Earth tomorrow for March 25th. It was a northbound uh, explosion on the sun but we're still going to get some radiation so right now with the coronal hole facing earth and this is not a coronal hole but sunspots facing earth they did reach each other we're gonna go and see it clearly now let's head on over because this is horrible I wanted to show you how it was before um, we were able to see it a bit clearer so I'm gonna film through an electrical wire and you have some light coming in on the left of my filter I just bought a new filter I'm gonna to have to install it because it's uh, getting old my solar filter and this is the Sun today the aggressive Sun look at the sunspots in the center there and the bottom Wow so those two groups of sunspots are reaching each other now what's going to happen today maybe nothing maybe something it's gonna get more and more aggressive the Sun leading up to 2025 and uh, Take a look and enjoy the great shots that I got of the sun for March 24th. Enjoy. I'll put up a little uh, music with that. Thanks for watching, everyone. When you film the sun in the morning with the solar filter, you're going to get some nice orange colors until it rises high enough over the horizon. I'll show it to you just with the filter and the exposure adjusted normally right after this. We can see really good detail, even uh, looking through the wires. That's a wire going by, by the way, and some light coming in the side of the filter there. Rushed out this morning to be able to film it for you all. Look at the massive group of sunspots. About 100, 100 and some thousand kilometers, uh, they say that these holes open up to the center of this, what they call a not solid ball of gas, where, sure, you know, when you look at the sunspots, it sure does look solid. Looking at the sunspots is the only way you can tell how the sun is rotating. So here's what nobody's talking about. That sunspot in the center aligns itself with the center core of Earth. And they said they didn't know why. Usually it rotates and leaves. Right now, the sun is directly at us and seems to be sticking longer than usual and rotating less quickly. Why? What's happening? Does it have to do with the major eclipse coming April 8th? Oof, look at the prophecies and everything. We can talk a lot about that, which I don't, but still a very interesting subject since the Bible time. They say that the sun's core is an astonishing 29 million degrees Fahrenheit, whether it's true or not. Uh, one interesting aspect of the sun is its sunspots, obviously. Sunspots are areas where the magnetic field is about 2,500 times stronger than Earth's. Imagine, magnetic field. Much higher than anywhere else on the sun, and that's when, why and where they appear. Because of the strong magnetic field, the magnetic pressure increases while the surrounding atmospheric pressure decreases. This, in turn, lowers the temperature relative to its surroundings. That's why we're seeing them darker also, the convection, because the concentrated magnetic field inhibits the flow of hot new gas from the sun's interior to the surface. So they say sunspots increase and decrease through an average cycle of 11 years. But if you look deeper into that, it's actually a 22-year cycle.